worlds. Now, I had an amazing experience. I was 45 years old. I'd been conducting for 20 years, and I suddenly had a realization. The conductor of an orchestra doesn't make a sound. My picture appears on the front of the CD. <laughs> but the conductor doesn't make a sound. He depends for his power on his ability to make other people powerful. And that changed everything for me. It was totally life-changing. People in my orchestra came up to me and said, Ben, what happened? That's what happened. I realized my job was to awaken possibility in other people. And of course, I wanted to know whether I was doing that. And you know how you find out? You look at their eyes. If their eyes are shining, you know you're doing it. You could light up a village with this guy's eyes. <laughs> Right, so if, you, if the eyes are shining, you know you're doing it. If the eyes are not shining, you get to ask a question, and this is the question. Who am I being that my player's eyes are not shining? We can do that with our children, too. Who am I being that my children's eyes are not shining? That's a totally different world. Now, we're all about to end this magical on the mountain week, and we're going back into the world. And I say, it's appropriate for us to ask the question, who are we being as we go back out into the world? And you know, I have a definition of success. For me, it's very simple. It's not about wealth and fame and power. It's about how many shining eyes I have around me. <laughs>